What's up guys? More views WTF here and it's time for some news for first impressions for whatever you want to call it. I felt this video was perfect for this channel. So here we go guys for my Godzilla video. I'm not going to do a full review right now. Um what if I feel like it and I already did a review for it but I kind of got ruined due to technical difficulties, not just that, I, didn't, I wasn't really too happy with how it turned out in the end. So I'm going to try to redo that if I feel like it. Right now, there's another subject I want to talk about. Now, first of all, when I went to see this Godzilla movie, I was fucking hyped. The world was fucking hyped to see Godzilla. And so you can bet your ass I was just freaking ready for the monster to be released on screen with his full CG glory and all that. Um, and you do see some of that. But for anybody who's seen the movie now, you know that's not what the movie's all about, for the most part. And it does questionable things, but I can assure you this movie's 100% better than the 1998 Godzilla movie, and it actually qualifies as a Godzilla movie. So for those of you who were pissed about the 98 version, I think this version will make you go, this makes up for it, this is a legit Godzilla movie. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, after seeing this movie, I can recommend that you see it. So there's your review quickie right there. Um, I'll review it. I will. But uh, anyway, my video right now is about what is going to happen to Godzilla now. Now that he's back in action, now that the King of Monsters has returned, what is his future? That's what I want to know. And that's actually what I want to talk about. Because this movie... Not only was it successful, not only did some people say, yeah, this movie's just amazing, but also some people crapped on it, but you know what? Movies get mixed reviews like Man of Steel. That movie split the world in two. Anyway, this movie made a lot of money. Insane amount. And not only that, it's already been confirmed that Warner Brothers is going to do a sequel. And I am happy so happy that the movie here was so successful, did not bomb, did not bomb, and hopefully didn't piss the Japanese off again, because you know what, they deserve to have their monster treated properly in the West, other than its small cult fans, and hopefully this mainstream movie fixes that, but now, that a sequel is confirmed, what's it going to be about? Who is Godzilla going to fight, because I don't want him fighting those fuckers anymore, these Muda... Sorry. I don't want them fighting these Mutas again. Well, Mutas, they were fine for this movie, for some new monsters. They look just like all the other monsters American movies produce. Cloverfield, Super 8, shit like that. They they all look the same, a lot of it. And the things that weren't, that were similar, and that were, weren't the same, were ripped off from other Godzilla movies. Like, I think some of the sound effects came from, like, Angerus or Rodan or uh, Ghidra or Isabidora, either one. I think some of the sound effects came from those, so they were, I guess you could call it paying homage, but not really. Um, so I'm curious, who's the next monster? Who's he going to fight? He's going to fight Rodan, like everybody thought he was in this one. He's going to fight Angerus. He's going to fight uh, Violante. He's going to fight King Caesar. Who is he going to fight? And is Minya going to show up? Like Godzilla's little baby? Because that could be an interesting thing, having this more realistic turn on it. Having Godzilla's son in the mix. No, don't do that. You'll fuck it up. Anyway, um... My logical next step for the movie series, I think, should be Mechagodzilla. That's right. Mechagodzilla should show up in the sequel, go one-on-one -on -one with Godzilla, and duke it out. And do not do what you did in this movie with the fight scenes. While I enjoyed this movie, I'm going to spoil one thing right here. They cock the hell out of the fights. The fights look like they're about to happen. They cut them out, and they show them in the background of TVs while people are watching. And only until the last 15 minutes of the movie, 15, 20 minutes, you see some fighting in action for real. And it looks epic. It has one of the most badass Godzilla moments you've ever seen. The next one, I want there to be actual fighting. You just pulled off Godzilla. You've held him back long enough for this movie. Throw him out. Give him a few fights. Give him two, 
big fights, give him three big fights with the monster, have him meet and then run away, then have them fight and lose, and Godzilla comes back and he wins in the third round. And how I think this should go is, yeah, it's going to be my impressions and what I think the sequel should be. It should go that now that the world is aware that monsters exist, the world is going to be more self-aware and create weapons and everything. Kind of like what S.H.I.E.L.D. did in Captain America the Winter Soldier, um, where they were creating weapons, huge-ass weapons, keeping them secret and everything, to prepare for this imminent war. Kind of like, well, actually, it's more like the Winnows and the Avengers. Um, anyway, the world now knows monsters exist. How do they defend it? They can depend on Godzilla, because he's the balancer. But, Godzilla is a monster. They will think about that. They know they cannot reason or argue with him to be like, work with them in any way to their, uh, what they want. So what do they do? They create a monster of their own. They create Mecha Godzilla. And then send him out to kill Godzilla. Think of this. This would be awesome. Because ultimately Godzilla is a monster. They know they can't control the monster, create their own monster, send them out to kill Godzilla. And then who, something goes haywire, or some shit goes crazy, terrorists take whatever, you know. Then Mecha Godzilla is turned out to be the bad guy again. And Godzilla fights Mecha Godzilla. It just. It would be the coolest thing to see this. Um, and in my mind, it's the best thing the Americans could do with the sequel and then I'm not saying do this in the sequel but do this in the movie after put more sci-fi emphasis because Godzilla's world it may be grounded in reality now but his world has always been associated with alien sci-fi underground people has been associated with all this other stuff where was Mothra too? Mothra should appear too, just like as maybe a cameo in the end, or like do that at the end of the credits. Just wait till the end of the credits, and they'd be like, Mothra's born to take out Godzilla, or something like that. That would be so cool because Godzilla versus Mothra is considered the one of the best Godzilla movies. Okay, out of all of them. So if you don't do Mecha Godzilla, do Mothra. Because now with today's technology, there is no excuse for not having awesome fight scenes and a good story. Unless you don't take it serious. And it looks like they've taken a really serious turn, so I'm asking for this. Do it. So what do you guys think of Godzilla? I'm sorry, the, I'm holding my laptop. So Anyway, what do you guys think of Godzilla? Did you like the movie? What do you think the next logical step for the series should be? Please comment below, let me know, and I'll see you guys on the next First Impressions movie review, anime review. See you next time.